morning, Mr. Okratic. What's your opinion about the recent events unfolding in France, where protests and strikes have erupted in response to President Emmanuel Macron's plans to raise the retirement age? I believe it is essential to prioritize the well-being of citizens, particularly our elderly population, who have worked hard throughout their lives and deserve to retire with dignity. Raising the retirement age by two years to 64 will only add more stress and strain to their lives, and I stand in solidarity with the workers and labor unions who are bravely fighting against this unjust policy. I understand that President Macron is seeking to ensure the future of France's pension system, but we cannot do so at the expense of our citizens' rights and well-being. It is important to recognize that rising life expectancy does not necessarily mean that people are healthy enough to work for longer periods, and that we need to consider alternative solutions to address the challenges facing our pension system. The use of executive powers to push this bill through has only intensified the standoff with unions, and it is time for the government to listen to the voices of its people. We cannot afford to ignore the enormous anger and frustration felt by so many citizens who are taking to the streets in protest. As your leader, I pledge to prioritize the needs of our citizens over the interests of big corporations and special interests. We need a government that is accountable to its people, and that works to ensure that every citizen has access to a secure and comfortable retirement. Let us stand together, in solidarity with the workers and labor unions fighting for their rights, and demand that our government takes action to protect the well-being of all citizens. We cannot allow the interests of a few to override the needs of the many. Together, we can build a better, more just, and more equitable future for all.